War. War never changes. On October 23rd, 2077, America, America and China threw their atomic arsenal at each other. Other countries around the world saw this as an opportunity to attack other enemies too. With America and China at each other's necks, Europe turned on itself. Half of them went after the United Kingdom. With the UK's eventual and inevitable independency from Europe started it all, and their government attempted to stay neutral, and yet they secretly made and even purchased weapons from other countries. Some decisions were getting worse every day, as people would leave and enter the United Kingdom with vital information that tipped the tide of the resource wars. The government announced the launch of a company called HM Survival Corp, which was made to create shelters from potential nuclear threats. This was good, but it got very bad very quickly, when the public realised that this was only going to be for the governments and the members of the royal family. Some people with high influence could make it in, potentially, but most, if not all, of the public was left outside. The worst thing about it is that there were only seven of these shelters made, and they were dotted all across the United Kingdom. So if the bombs did drop, and they did, nobody would have any clue where they were, and if they did, they would not get in. People had to dig. The United Kingdom fell apart even further, with some being incredibly selfish and wanting war, with others praying for peace. In the year 2069, the UK was officially renamed to the Britannia Isles, uniting Wales, Scotland, England and Ireland into one big country. They conceded the whole peace thing when the United Kingdom, now Britannia Isles, launched their Mark IV power armour in response to America's T-45 power armour. Weapons tech also increased. The day of the bombs, October 23rd, 2077, South East England, most of Scotland, and all of Wales was destroyed. Ireland turned into a collection of cracked islands covered in radioactive mist. The only thing that lives there now are ghouls. Feral or not, it doesn't matter. Nothing and no one gets in or out of that place. Nobody knew or really cared if any of the royals or any politicians made it to the shelters, knowing their selfish ways. Not everybody was able to make it to safety either when the bombs dropped, but to those who did, they were happy. When they stepped outside, their smiles were gone. The world had ended. Britannia's governments did nothing to protect their people. December 31st, 2299. This story begins. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fallout Britannia. This is a story that I have been writing for a very, very long time, and only recently I have perfected it. Now just before we continue, this is set in the Fallout universe, so anything I say against politics or any royals, it's not a serious thing. It's just, again, its own little story that just sets in the United Kingdom in the Fallout universe, and it's something I've wanted to do for a very long time. With the whole role-playing aspect in the Fallout universe, uh, well, that you can get through the Fallout games at least, it has been a dream to try and make my own mod for Fallout 4, where you could get your own world area and it's all set in the UK, but I thought that was going to be way too much for especially one person. So I rolled it back and just wrote the story instead. Now, this story is 14 pages long. What you just heard was the prologue, and that is page 1. So like I said, this is in the Fallout universe, and it is set in the United Kingdom. This is... The best comparison I can make for this story is if you look to the Fallout's Redemption story series on Fudge Muppets channel. That was some more inspiration for me to be able to make this story, and I'm really glad I went ahead with this, because now that it's finished, I can look back at this and really smile, because it's so good. 
There are no drawings or any art details of anything to really speak of. I haven't been able to do art ever since I left college over three years ago. And sadly I haven't really been able to pick up since. I haven't been able to find the necessary tools to make the best art possible, even if I were to do things digitally or by hand. With what I want to picture, I just can't do it. Or not at least in time where I want to be able to release this onto YouTube. So this may get re-released again one day, where it has art in the background of the video rather than just a blank screen. But for now, this is going to be like an audiobook. Now that could be a problem because I don't have the best voice. Whenever I try to go deep, it kind of, you know, kind of goes like this. And it's not really pleasant to listen to. I can't really go too high either because my voice once again becomes a bit intolerable. So whilst I want to be able to get this story out there, it might not be the best thing if people don't want to listen to it. And I don't blame you at all. One thing I will do is I will put all of the text in the description of the video. So you know what was basically said. If you don't want to listen to it or if you just want to read it yourself, it will all be there. So that is everything I have to say on this series. I hope you are looking forward to this. I will see you all in the Britannia Wasteland.